What's up guys, welcome back to a, another video where we're going to go through the updates and see what's going on this week in RuneScape through the patch notes. For those of you that would rather listen to it, basically, uh, those of you that maybe don't have the time or you're at work, you want to just have a quick listen while you're going through the note, patch notes and whatnot. So, let's take a look and see what's actually happening this week. It says that it's a patch week, so it's likely just a few little small things and we can see down here as well. Uh, it says just a short one this week but sometimes there's some hidden stuff in here that's worth listening to or worth um reading about anyway so let's find out shall we so just a short one this week as we sort through some tweaks and updates check out the patch notes for today's changes okay so on march 12th which is tomorrow by the way uh we will have a scheduled maintenance from 9 till 11. Okay, so it's only a couple of hours. However, I think last time they did this, there was a bit of a longer one. Um, there was an issue or something. So we'll, we'll have to see, but hopefully it just sticks to the two hours. And I think a lot of people get um, quite frustrated with this, but plant maintenance is, is pretty common for MMOs. And I think it's definitely a good thing. <laughs> it definitely needs, you need to have the, these downtimes, I think, for them to do all their fixes and all that sort of stuff during that time. So yeah, this is probably a good thing. Prime Gaming. Now, let's see what this says. We have some important news to share for scapers who benefited from loot via Prime Gaming. Which I think is a lot of people, right? A lot of people have um, Amazon Prime. Our campaign with Prime Gaming has come to an end. As a result, there will be no more RuneScape Prime Gaming loot drops for the foreseeable future. Which is a little bit sad because these were pretty cool. You used to get like... um. Rune coins or used to get membership or used to get like different items and stuff which was it was really good like there were some good bundles in here some keys and keepsake keys and loads of cool stuff we know plenty of you out there love these drops and this is likely disappointing news but we hope you enjoyed the loot you gained over the years so i mean a lot of people are gonna be like well what are we getting instead <laughs> nothing guy nothing it, it, it is what it is it's gone um but I mean, they, they were pretty cool. The, the Prime Gaming stuff was pretty cool. And I'm sure a lot of people will kind of be got out of the, the Rune Coin thing and the, the, the Keepsake Keys and the free membership and whatnot. Which, to be fair, yeah, it was it was, re, it was really useful. It was really valuable. But uh, it is what it is. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully, um, it says for the foreseeable future. Hopefully, it comes back at some point. That would be kind of nice. Uh, but there you go. Uh, the Prime Gaming stuff is gone. Forums sunsetting. Ahead of the uh, forums uh, finalizing their shutdown on March 28th, we would like to remind any players who wish to save any information or post to do so ahead of the final date to find out more about this update in our initial blog. So this whole post here will be linked in the description. Then you can come here and you can find that if you want to have a look at that. But yeah, there you go. Live stream calendar, Wednesday, March 13th, which is in two days. Easter is just around the corner, so grab your eggs and chocolate and listen to some of the mods chat about Easter. Cool. I think we're going to have a new Easter event this year, right? So, I mean, hopefully it's pretty interesting. Hopefully it's it's, it's good and, and actually different. I think it'll be very similar to the Christmas event. I think they'll take that sort of idea and throw it into there. But there you go. Hopefully that, I mean, that be... That's probably going to be the next week up update, right? So we'll have to find out about that. But as long as it gives something to do, maybe something to make a couple of videos on, then hopefully it'll be, it'll be a, a nice little little event. Treasure Hunter Calendar. Let's have a look. Starts March 7th, which is currently now. Ends in two days with the Academy of Heroes, which has these overrides here. Um, and then on March 11th and 12th, we have Echo of Crotus and Fungal Overrides. Wait, are you getting different um, different overrides, maybe? Through the different days? I don't know. I don't really care about the treasure and stuff, to be, <laughs> to be honest. Starts March 14th, you have loot rooms, if you guys are interested in that. There you go. Patch notes. Okay, so, hotfix. This is have already been done. These updates have been applied during the previous week. Damage numbers for manifestation of Erethador's corruption shot have been corrected. Uh, fix an issue that made auto and special attacks in legacy mode a uh, combat mode much more powerful than intended this fix affects pvm and pvp okay um damn i i mean it's pretty interesting an issue that made auto and special attacks in legacy combat mode more powerful how more powerful then you guys use this test this do this was it like broken as crap i have no idea 
I don't know, but they fixed it, so there you go. Fix an issue that allows the um, instability special attack to be cast with no cooldown if you swapped to the Lunar Spell but before activating the special. Man, hold, what? Who even figures this out? Okay. <laughs> Fix an issue that meant players that um, died before Thox Smashing buffs started were unable to reclaim any of the items held by death. Fix an issue that allowed some players to start Mandra Slayer Challenge before reaching level 101 in this latest game. Okay, I can understand why these things were um, hotfixed, to be fair. Yeah, I can definitely see why they, these were like priority number one. Combat update. The position of the freedom animation was raised so it doesn't appear on the floor. The position of the freedom animation was raised so it doesn't appear on the floor. What the hell? Okay. Completed the pass off animation priorities um, for range abilities to ensure animations be more fluid. Corruption Blast now spreads correctly while fighting certain Slayer monsters. Fixed an issue that caused the metamorphosis ability to reduce PvP damage rather than increase it. The split soul icon now correctly reverts back to soul split when buffs are cleared. Fix an issue that caused the Draconic Slash or the Dragon Scimitar special attack to be removed from the player's buff bar upon being recast before the cooldown is finished. All right, cool. So only a few changes. I'm actually surprised that there isn't like a huge long list here for the combat update, honestly, because obviously they did the, the beta. Now, I guess they probably worked through some bugs during the beta, but I just, I don't know, I expected this to be like, all the way down if that makes sense so i mean that's probably a good thing right so the can candarin graphical update lighting brightness has been adjusted in proof downers blue crystal has been changed back to white on top of the walls okay cool whatever crystal i uh, know not crystal quest requirement cleanup a correction uh, um a couple, corrected a couple of typos whatever added handling for hand in the sand uh, and while gothic sleeps were when both quests are eligible to use Betty's counter. Added 43 magic requirements to Dimension of Disaster, Defender of Vara, because it previously relied on inheriting 59 magic from Family Crest, okay? Removed a couple of lingering 30 defense requirements from Between a Rock's Golden Helmet. Lowered Wild Gothic Sleeve's 65 defense requirements to 40 defense, uh, since it no longer requires King's Ransom. In Blood Runs Deep, Brunt, then the Chieftain, now only comments about one of the benefits of Fremen C Booster 3 if you've claimed this one. Okay, cool. Cool, just a few quest cleanup things. That's not a it's not a big deal, but I mean, I guess it, it, for some people it might be. Necromancy Max has finished level Necromancy and has reclaimed his Mac Cape. Okay. Players will no longer did he not have it? Was he just there? Is he now just a higher combat level? I don't know. Players will no longer see a message about unlocking a new appearance from Miso after each ratio kill. Good. Small Turoths had 42 range instead of attack. This has been corrected. And fixed an issue that prevented Miso's video effects from appearing if the pet was used with, uh, as a familiar override. All right. Uh, general stuff. Okay, this is a bit longer than that. Fixed an issue that prevented Rune Pants and Zamorite boss fight from charging. That would have been frustrating. Which does anyone know what that was? Damn. Fix an issue that caused the rewards information text to overlap with icons and treasure hunter. Fix a typo. Fix an issue that caused fully charged augmented items to display. Uh, they are running out of charges. That that caused fully charged augmented items to display that run out of charges. Okay. Rebalance the mini box in the Desert Slayer Dungeon Mini Quest. Uh, the camera tilt effect inside Barrows Rather than Six has been disabled. So when you are um, now leaving i guess there's no camera tilt which is probably a good thing camera shake setting is now taken into account during the dungeon clap sequence camera shake intensity has been reduced removed a reference to protein planks as an option in the required items list of new foundation quests since protein planks no longer substitute for planks uh various monster attacks the left the left articles on the ground no longer festive various monster left articles on the ground no festive um next <laughs> I think this is a next fix, basically. This has been an AF for Christmas, bro. So, um, next is prison. Didn't use, use icicles. It used presents still. And this, I guess this has been fixed now. So, there you go. Master completionist and master trim completionist capes can uh, now be worn within an uh, active grace period. Both of the exit options for the sinkhole are now available. 
Uh, the fairy one can now be keepsake before completing the fairy tale three quest, and the wand won't disappear from the keepsake box when it's completed. Fix an issue that caused the boss timer in Volcath boss fight to display time since last game update. Crazy, they fixed it. I thought this was done already, to be fair, but I guess maybe it was just working one time that I went in, and then it went back to be broken. Um, good. Hell yeah, finally. Resolved an issue that caused the experience from the Tears of Gothics minigame to give uh, to, to be given to an incorrect skill. Gutted, imagine that. The clan cloak will now remain equipped if players logged out. <laughs> what? I feel like I was the only person in the, in the whole world that had this issue. Um, I'm buzzing about this, by the way. This was, I have this keepsake and I use it keepsake and i couldn't because every time i freaking world hopped or lobbied or logged out it would remove it and just be the regular worn cape and i've been saying on stream and stuff for freaking ages please have this fixed please 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 i guess some other people had it had the issue as well and it's been fixed now thank frick for that it's not even that big of a deal but i'm, I'm just glad fix the issue that caused the dark shadow of lang and dark sliver uh, silver silver not sliver what the frick silver of lang to use incorrect inventory icons Okay, cool. Community. Let's have a look. Community showcase. This is very cool. Very. Uh, these are badass. These are these are incredible. Holy hell. These are badass. That's insane. Anyway, uh, moving on. We'll just keep looking at those all day. We got the the YouTube stuff here. Escape screenshots. Very cool. And the pink skirts player events. There you go. Right. Says community spotlight on small adventure. Okay. Uh, there you go. Right, guys. Anyway, that's it for today. There's quite. I mean, this is a pretty long video. There's, there's a few, fair few things to have, have gone through, but um, Prime Gaming's gone, and then lots of fixes. I guess is the, is the main thing. But yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. I am back to making videos now. Um, so you'll hopefully see some more stuff i took a week off because i just wanted a week off uh, but other than that check out the merch get your own potion lamp and whatnot there'll be a link in the pinned comment in the description and uh otherwise i'll catch you on the next one see you later guys bye